What are Terraform modules? Let's talk about that in today's video. Imagine we have some code inside of a Git repository. It doesn't matter what it is, we just have some simple Terraform code in a repository. Technically, you already have a Terraform module because any flat directory with TF files in it is actually a Terraform module. But that's a technicality and just semantics, and it's not the point that we're going to be exploring in this video. Instead, we want to understand the what and the why of Terraform modules. Moving on, now let's pretend our module manages some resources for us. Nothing too complex, just some AWS resources such as AWS EC2 instances, RDS databases, a VPC, and so on. Of course, modules could actually go on to manage thousands of resources for us, but in this example, we're just keeping it simple. At this point, we still have a Terraform module because again, any TF files inside of a flat directory structure is a TF module. This particular module just so happens to provision some AWS resources for us. Now let's pretend that we have other projects that we want to set up EC2 instances in, in the exact same way that we're doing here. That means we want to replicate this part of our code across other code bases. The number of code bases that we need to copy to could be huge. This is an extremely common situation in professional projects. So how do we go about replicating this code across multiple code bases? We could try to copy and paste it across multiple repositories one by one. That won't scale very well, and it also means every copy is now unique, and any further updates have to be copy and pasted across them all manually one by one. Also, what happens if our original EC2 code evolves and improves? Are we really going to copy and paste this again and again across all of the code bases? That's simply going to be error prone, time consuming, and is quite frankly, just bad practice. Instead, we can move our EC2 code into its own Git repository and store just that code in there. And because any directory that contains .tf files is a Terraform module, we have another module. That's what we've done. We've created another module. On screen here, we can see we have effectively two modules. Now we can include or import that module into other code bases. Or put another way, now we don't need to copy and paste the code over and over across potentially hundreds of code bases. Furthermore, we can use semantic versions like the one seen here, v1.0.0, to control what version of the module we would like to import. This sample Terraform code is importing the AWS VPC module. It's importing version 3.19.0. Now our module can be imported by every other Terraform code base that we have. This scales much, much better than copy and pasting the code over and over, and it reduces human error to close to zero. This also means that changes in our module can be propagated down to every other code base importing it. This allows us to update our code in one single location and have those updates go out to everyone else. Every project I've ever worked on uses Terraform modules, so it's pretty important that you get a reasonably good grasp on what a Terraform module is, how to write them, and how to consume them. Check out the Terraform registry, there's a link down in the description below, and browse through all of the available modules that have been written by HashiCorp, AWS, Azure, and just the general public, and you'll get an idea of just how important modules are.